Hi everyone, it's Goffy Clean Man here. I figured for you guys today I would tell you my top five favourite gothic bands and my top five favourite non-gothic bands. So for the five favourite gothic bands, these are really easy for me. Some people are different, but these are just easy for me. I can go for days listening to these bands. Don't ask me why, I just, I love them, I idolise them. So my first band, first pick would be London After Midnight. Kiss is my favourite song of theirs, but I also, I don't have a preference of albums because I like different songs from different albums. So they're my first band, London After Midnight. Second one is Typo Negative. Love Typo Negative music to my ears. My next one is Sisters of Mercy. I've been listening to Sisters of Mercy from day dot um, getting into the gothic subculture. I think it was the first band I loved and was listening to. So their songs I really love is Dhamma Russia and um, Temple of Love. They're my favourite songs from them. My next band is, of course, Susie and the Banshees. I love her Iggy Pop version of Passenger. I also enjoy Face to Face, Peekaboo. They're a few of my favourite songs from her, what she's done. And my last band, gothic band I really love, is Incubus Succubus. I know, I really love the, the sound of her voice and the way she sounds with her songs. I really love. So they're my five gothic bands. All done. Now for my five non-gothic bands that I really love. Um, you might be pleasantly surprised by some of these. You might be expected. And to show, to prove, actually prove I am fans, I'm going to show you what I've got. Because a lot of this music I loved when I was a teenager where it was more common to buy CDs and actually to own copies of things where now it's so accessible just to download or Spotify. You don't have to actually go out and buy stuff anymore. So my first pick is Evanescence, of course. I'm a big fan of Origin, Going Fallen and Open Doors. My favourite song would have to be Livium. That's my favourite Evanescence song. I've also got the Anywhere From Home DVD. I haven't purchased the new um, new CDs. And I've also got this of Amy Lee. People, you're probably wondering, what the hell is this? Well, this is, has nothing to do with Evanescence's music. It's not concert or anything. This was a small video um to talk about her hometown, her family, her relationship between Ben Moody. So these are interviews with um, Amy Lee's parents and friends. So it's just a, sort of like a documentary on her life before she became Evanescence. This is something my boyfriend picked up actually for me. So my next one is Pink, I don't have many pink CDs, but I've got her Fun House, which it's hard to see, but yeah, I've got the Fun House CD, and I've got this, um, try this, the Live in Europe one, so there's my other favourite, Pink, Disturbed, I love Disturbed, I'm obsessed with Disturbed, um, so that's one, two, three. Um, I also really loved Linkin Park. I was obsessed with Linkin Park, and Linkin Park was my gateway um, music before I found Gothic music and The Cure. So, um, we all have a gateway song or a gateway band that we don't realize that it's our gateway to kind of go, oh my god, this music's amazing! Like. And Linkin Park was my gateway music. I've also loved Metallica. Friend got me onto Metallica, and just 
the strong instrumentals and the talent behind Metallica is really why I like um, Metallica. This one, I know I'm adding extra to this, but I just wanted to make a note of me, someone that really influenced me as a person, as a teenager, as being a tomboy and trying to slowly find myself as um, being more feminine, just just trying to find myself as a teenager, and that is Avla. Yeah, you're probably thinking, oh my god, Avla. I actually only enjoy her first two albums, these ones. Anything really after that, um, like Linkin Park, I like the first two albums, but after that I've sort of distanced from them, but I still treasure them. So when she got a bit more girly, and I haven't bought anything since that, but yeah, I just wanted to make a note that she really influenced me a lot, just as a person, music-wise, music taste. So yes, this is my tragic, but I'm happy to admit, favourite non-gothic music. What are your favourite goth bands or non-gothic music, or just music in general? Who are your bands that you sort of can listen to time and time again and doesn't matter what anyone says about it. So hope you enjoyed this video from me talking a little bit more about my musical tastes. Bye everyone.